Questions? Rob Beezer from University of Puget Sound, which is about 30 miles south of here. I grew up about a 10 minute drive south of here, so this was my playground as a child. Uh, may explain why I'm an academic, but if you have any local questions, uh, except where to go to a restaurant, I don't know any restaurants anymore. <laughs> anyway, I'm a real, I'm a real local. Uh, so I'm real interested in educational uses of Sage. Uh, interested in the notebook, interested in Williams uh, Cloud Math service he started, all those sorts of things. I'm real interested in, especially this week, uh, working on publication, so how to, how to write about Sage, write about math how to do that and get lots of, of nice different forms of output. So that's mostly what I'll be working on this week. Okay. Hello, I'm Greg Bard. I'm from the University of Wisconsin. And uh, I got involved in SAGE for research originally, but then I discovered it's really useful for teaching. So uh, I teach mostly calculus for engineers and uh, business mathematics. And I'm uh, writing a book for that later audience. So. Uh, Talk to me if you want to talk about any of those topics. Hi, I'm TJ Hitchman. I'm from the University of Northern Iowa in Cedar Falls, Iowa. Uh, I'm one of the, well, now expiring utmost test sites. Uh, so I have a little bit of experience trying to get Sage involved in my classroom, in particular linear algebra. Uh, I'm still working on that, so if you'd like to talk, that'd be great. Uh, hi, I'm Davis Schubert. Um, I'm from the University of Puget Sound with Rob over here. And um, I just started developing Sage, and I'm pretty interested um, in just like, groups and stuff like that. Um, and I'm kind of on like an undergrad research grant right now, kind of making free groups and group presentations more accessible to the undergraduate. So. Cool. Uh, <laughs> uh, John Travis, Mississippi College. Um, I'm interested in using web work and teaching. You know, just regular. Also, um, I do web work, and so we're working on doing a web work interface. We have several problems now working with um, Sage inside of web work. I'm Jason Grout. Um, I've been working a lot on the web interfaces to Sage, particularly the Sage cell server. Can we speak up? Yes. I'm Jason Grout. I've been working a lot on the web interfaces to Sage, like the Sage cell server and things like that. Um, I'm also really interested in Sage and education, uh, so particularly linear algebra, Calc three, things like that. Uh, I'm Jason Aubrey. I uh, work on the WebWork project, and I'm here to uh, further integration with Sage and uh, WebWork, particularly on the problem authoring side. I'm Veronica. I'm a student, and I'll be working on coding theory. I'm interested in. Cryptography and I'm George Jennings from Cal State, California State University, Dominguez Hills, and we use Sage Text to uh, generate common exams. So I'm interested in learning more Python so I can uh, uh, alter the scripts, the Perl scripts that we now use to to, to turn them into uh, Python scripts, and also we use Sage in our calculus and some of in our algebra classes and some of our other classes and I'd like to learn more about that and also how to interface it with uh, web work. Hi, I'm Sepida Stewart from University of Oklahoma. Uh, I'm also interested in education and uh, especially uh, my re research area is um, learning uh, and teaching linear algebra. So I'm really interested in learning how to um, incorporate SAGE in uh, helping students to visualize linear algebra concepts. Thank you. Hey, uh, I'm Vivek. I'm a physics postdoc at Harvard, and <coughs> I actually do mostly neuroscience types of things now. And <coughs> I'm very interested in, in sort of the, the web interfaces for SAGE and also educational uses. So. <coughs> Uh, I'm Tom Judson. I'm from Stephen F. Austin State University in East Texas. I'm one of the other stage PIs. And I'm interested in, over the next couple of days, tying up loose ends for our grant, getting some deliverables, and next steps. What are we going to do next? I also have an open source uh, abstract algebra textbook that's done fairly well. Very well. Good <laughs> luck of the draw. David Gishard from Whitman College in Walla Walla. I'm primarily interested in SAGE for teaching. I've used it a little in calculus and linear algebra, 
and I'm hoping to get some stuff together to teach common rhetorics and graph theory. I'm Martin Flashman. I'm from Humboldt State University, which is in California. Um, I'm uh, interested in uh, using SAGE um, right now for a project I have uh, on developing uh, materials for visualizing functions with mapping diagrams, otherwise sometimes called dynagraphs. And um, I have a calculus book that's been on the web since the beginning of calculus reform, and uh, it's still on the web. The publisher got bought up. <laughs> So. I'm Carl Dieter Christman. I'm uh, from Gordon College and near Boston, and um, I have a few different goals here. One is uh, I have a number theory text that uh, is, exists and is of HTML with embedded Sage, and I want to think about uh, making that into something a little bit more uh, organized like Rob or Tom's books, um, and not just a, bun a bunch of pages. And um, I also have a lot of symbolics and other tickets uh, that I want to continue reviewing and working on with some of the folks uh, back there. Um, so lots to do. I'm Jen Ball Christian. I'm a postdoc at Harvard. Uh, I use Sage a lot uh, in my research in number theory, but I'm interested in learning how to use it uh, to teach calculus and learn how to make this interactive. I'm Chris Davis. Right now I'm between a postdoc at UC Irvine and one at University of Copenhagen. And this last year, I used Sage in two cryptography courses. And I just sort of put things together hackily as I was going. And so I'd like to sort of work on polishing that and making it more organized. Hi, I'm uh, David Perkinson from Reed College in Portland. And uh, we're at, Reed is one of these utmost test sites. So there are several of us who have been using Sage in the classroom. I use it a lot in my research, too. Um, one of the courses I used it in last year uh, was a course on hyperplane arrangements, and as part of that, using Richard Stanley's notes, and as part of that course I was just kind of systematically going through and put all that stuff into Sage. And again, I, like you, I was just kind of hacking it together the night before, and so I would like to kind of polish that up this, this, uh, this next week. Cool. I'm Kieran Goodlier from University of California, San Diego. I'm another one of the utmost PIs. And uh, as such, I suppose I'll be spending most of my time this week thinking about end of this grant and, and next steps. Um, I'm also a longtime Sage user, uh, so if anybody gets stuck on something, I'll be kind of floating around a bit as well. Uh, my name is Barry Bailoff. I'm from Whitman College, and I was one of the uh, utmost test sites last year, so I used it for abstract algebra in the classroom. Um, found it very useful, and would like to branch that out this week, possibly, into combinatorics, um, or to probability, or more incorporation of, of Sage into web work. Uh, I'm Glenn Henshaw from uh, Cal State Channel Islands, and I originally kind of uh, started using Sage in a research context, but I, so when I teach uh, number theory, I found that uh, you know, uh, planar lattices are a good way to kind of introduce students to um, uh, to out the algebraic to algebraic number theory and ideals and those sort of concepts. So, I I kind of want to use uh, Sage to make uh, some interactives, interacts and stuff like that. Okay. My name is Keith Lawson, and uh, I'm interested in geometric measure theory. But here I'm working mostly on the computer system side of things. And making sure that the developer servers that are used for development, the web hosting the websites and everything are up and stable. People can log in and things like that. And this is my wife, Anna, and she's a linguist. And she's working on some translating some papers and writing a paper on African languages, so it's completely unrelated to the state. But it's a nice, very nice place to work for her. And I'm local, so if anybody has any questions about local things. I'm Susan Wins, I'm from the University of Colorado, and I'm the evaluator on the project. So I'm going to be pestering you with surveys at the end of each of the next three days. Please fill them out and be honest. All your responses are confidential. Um, so anyway, uh, that's my role here is to watch and do surveys. Steve Singleton from Colorado. But actually, I'm teaching at Coe College, which is in the neighborhood of University of Northern Iowa and not too far from Drake. So, <laughs> nice to know I got some neighbors. Uh, I teach physical chemistry there using the Pogel approach. It's a non-lecture based process oriented inquiry if you've heard of that. Uh, so I'm, uh, it's basically no lecture, so I'm looking for ways to uh, 
have students learn quantum mechanics and thermodynamics without learning calculus. <laughs> uh, we've had calculus, but uh, hopefully we're going to try to do no calculus by hand and see if that flies. Uh, we can make progress on the chemistry. Now. I'm Jeff Denny from Mercer University, and I've used SAGE for, I guess, two years now, and I've used it in teaching Calculus 1, Calculus 2, differential equations, modeling, and statistics. But this week, I want to focus on um, calculus uses, and especially on widgets like you'll see at some of the single-cell server sites. I find there's a lot of cases where it's great to bring in SAGE into a formal presentation, but there are so many times when you're teaching that somebody asks you something, you need something now, and you don't have to time to write a lot of code and have a lot of co colleagues who would use it if they didn't have to write a lot of code. And so I want to make little widgets that you could pull up and use on the fly and modify on the fly. I'm Laurel Drain from Cal State Channel Islands. I'm a master's student. I just started using SAGE in a research setting this actually just last semester. And I'm pretty much just here to uh, learn new things and see what I can do use SAGE for. Okay. I'm Volker Braun, Oxford, University of Oxford. Um, I use SAGE in my research on geometric aspects of string theory and quantum field theory. Uh, I've wor written, uh, I've worked on toy varieties in SAGE and some of the group theory stuff in SAGE. Um, I'm maintaining the virtual machine. If anybody is using that, then you have any problems with that. Hey, uh, Ira? Ira Hansen. On this uh, Sage cell server. Where are you from? Uh, from Northfield, Minnesota, and I just recently graduated from Drake. Congratulations. Okay, uh, Andre? Um, I'm Andre Novoselsov from uh, the University of Alberta in uh, Canada, and uh, I use Sage for six years, I think, uh, for my uh, research uh, so far, mostly in uh, toric geometry. And uh, in the last two years, I am uh, actively using it in my teaching. I uh, wrote a bunch of uh, interacts uh, for um, vector calculus and multivariate calculus. I uh, wrote a module for teaching uh, linear programming. And uh, the last time I used it in class, uh, Students had a choice uh, to use Sage or not, uh, but uh, all 61 students uh, chose to use Sage. Uh, hopefully, they did not regret. <laughs> and uh, for the next uh, three years, uh, I will be working on a grant at our university to integrate uh, Sage into undergraduate uh, curriculum. And uh, so I want uh, to create stuff which is uh, easily discoverable and uh, usable by people for not Sage developers uh, and uh, maybe not even really Sage users. Uh, and uh, so that uh, means a few things. So one of them is that I want uh, to have a smooth transition between different uh, modes of uh, Sage, such as uh, Sage uh, cell server, Sage notebook, uh, Sage tech. Uh, if you wrote something for producing some uh, plots in 2D or 3D, then ideally it would be usable without any changes or adjustments in those three modes so that you can uh, use it uh, in plasma demonstrations uh, and uh, then in exams, uh, for example, or in solutions of exams. Uh, so uh, here I am uh, working on uh, fixing a few uh, bugs in the uh, current notebook, uh, which are uh, on the way of uh, this goal. Uh, and another thing that uh, I'd like to eventually accomplish is to have uh, interacts uh, which uh, do not be trot. So not just uh, you can run the code and it uh, runs, but uh, when you make some uh, changes uh, to the controls, uh, it still works as expected as uh, you upgrade versions of Sage, or, or so that you have some uh, way to tie your interact to a particular version of Sage uh, using Sage uh, cell server. Uh, and uh, also, all these uh, things should be easily discoverable uh, by uh, other people, and uh, for Particularly universities, it means that there has to be some uh, catalog code which uh, will be tied to post numbers used in a particular institution. So I'll try to think about it and uh, hopefully do some progress. Okay. Uh, I'm Burcin Erecan from University of Kaiserslautern in Germany. I am one of the long-time Sage developers. 
Uh, these days I contribute mainly to symbolics. I'm the maintainer of the C++ library that provides us symbolic expressions in Sage. And this week uh, I am working on special functions, especially related to uh, Eviata's GSA project, which he will probably explain now. Uh, I'm Abhi Tarba, I'm from the University of British Columbia. Um, and yeah, we will some code scheme. I'm going to be working on uh, special functions uh, and symbolic wrappers and hyper metric functions. And <coughs> I'm Brian Beavers. I'm one of Tom's colleagues at SFX, Stephen F. Austin State University in East Texas. We're uh, at Utmost test site. We um, use Sage in our calculus lab for calculus one through three. Um, I also have set up a little local server to administer just in case the big one ever goes down while we're in the middle of a lab and everybody needs. So I'm uh, interested in administration of servers. And, uh, in particular, personally, I want to work on integrating more of the single cell server and other uh, techniques into our online courses for uh, pre-service teachers. I'm teaching one of them online right now. And if I could get some of that inserted for the module I've got to open on Friday, that would be really nice. <laughs> Has everybody introduced themselves except me and Jason? Well, I already introduced. He did. How about you? Okay, so it's just me. So hi, I'm William, and I started Sage. My I'm one of the <laughs> utmost PIs. I've used Sage in every course I've taught since I started Sage, and uh, written some books that have Sage in them. And currently, my main interest is creating this uh, web interface to Sage called cloud.sagemath.com which, uh, I mean, the main goal of it is to make it so that you can easily and always have access to Sage, shouldn't ever go down, and um, should be usable on a lot of different devices. So that's the goal. Not there yet, but you'll see a demo at least in a few minutes. <coughs> okay. I probably should have explained at some point, you've heard a lot about this utmost grant. Uh, it's a three-year National Science <coughs> Foundation undergraduate education grant. So there's five of us that have been very involved with that. We've had 10 schools serve as test sites. The two previous workshops like this were part of the grant, and we decided to have a third one. We had some money left over, so that's what's funding this. So it's a little bit different uh, because the test sites have all sort of done their thing already. But, so when you hear references to Utmost and all that, that's what's going on. Now Utmost has been introduced. Yes, <laughs> there you go. Okay, 